Okay, good morning class. We're going to do this time for a prayer. Okay, let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and 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 the power, and the Group quietly. 
And the fourth is we wait for my command to say go. Fifth is the puzzle must be finished in two minutes. And the first group to formulate the puzzle will get a three points uh, to score. Okay, did you get it? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I will divide you into two groups. Then you will create a circle as you are sitting. So uh, this row, this column, and this second column will be the group one, and the, uh, the second column will be the group two. Okay, so. Now you can go to your group in one, two, three. So, so this is the group one. This is your puzzle, and this is the puzzle for group two. Okay. Are you all set in class? Yes. Go. How about the group one? Are you all sitting down? Yes, teacher. How about the group two? Yeah, yes, both. Okay. Let us type. In one, two, three, go. Okay, reminder class. I will just give you two minutes to create a permanent permanent that puzzle. Are you doing fine group one? Yes, teacher. Okay, how about the group two? Yes, Paul. Okay. So, okay, we have the first group that only created their puzzle. The, which is the group one. Okay, group one, are you done? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let us wait for the group two. Okay, very good. So, both group is already done. So let us ask what did you create? Uh, created group one. What image? A fish teacher. Okay, so very good. So the group one created a fish. How about the group two? Who created forest hole? Very good. So and the group two created a forest uh, image. So now uh However, the first group is the one who created first. So the, the first group will get a three stars. Let's get a round of applause. But don't worry, group two, I will give you also two stars for your participation. Okay, congratulations both group one and group two. Okay, class, let's give our, ourselves as an angel clap. Did you know what is the angel clap? No, no, teacher. Okay, all you have to do is come and clap. One, two, three. Woo -hoo. Okay, did you get it? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so let's start. In one, two, three. One, two, three. Woo -hoo. Okay, thank you, class. So, okay, class, let's uh, go back to your seats. Quietly arrange your chairs. Okay. Okay, class, before we do to our new lesson, uh, we have here the objectives for our new topic. So, uh, everybody, please read our objectives. At the end of 40 minutes lesson, I will be able to differentiate between two dimensional and three dimensional. Okay, very good. So, let's, let us now differentiate what is two dimensional and three dimensional class. So, uh, those dimensions are created art so those are the uh, paintings like drawings 
and any other types of hard words. And now uh, let's have an example of what are those two dimensional and three dimensional printed hard words. So uh, I have here the example of two dimensional hard word. Okay, class, so this is the um, two dimensional printed hard word. So, class, um, the two dimensional printed hard word is having a flat surface. So, as you can see, those pictures are just flat surface. Examples, this painting in which uh, the, the, the painter is, or the person who made this uh, drawing is just using colors and um, yes, lines using different types of um, styles and shapes. Okay, so how about this picture? They are just using no, colors and uh, they provide different colors and you see pictures and shapes and also these pictures below yes they are just simple images so they are just simple created particles in other hand class the, the 3D dimensional created artwork is not having a flat surface or an opposite to opposite to to the dimensional this uh, images or created artworks are they are just when you see they are just a real in reality. So these are the, the three dimensional created artworks. So, we have here an example in which they have two big uh, so a person that facing each other and also the sculpture. Yes, yeah, they uh, we have to also give the uh, face of a man. They are like that in reality, I would. Okay, so those are the what are the two types of uh, dimensional class? Two dimensional and three-dimensional. Okay, very good. Hey class, are you ready for our new activity? Yes, we are. We are. Very good. So our game for today class is called Day Race. So raising our class guys, I will show you uh, six images and you will try to guess what dimension it is. Uh, it is uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional representation by raising your class guys. Did you understand? Yes, teacher. For our first image, what dimension it is do you think? Three dimensional. Okay, very good. So this is three-dimensional. Three very good. How about the second image? 3D teacher. Okay, very good. All of you got the correct answer. It is three dimensional. How about the third image? 2D teacher. Very good. This is two dimensional artwork. Okay. How about this image? 2D teacher. Okay, very good, Christine. How about this image? Three dimensional picture. Yes, very good. So, all of you got the correct answer. Very well. So, you have participated correctly in and very well in our activity. Okay, class. So, for our uh, activity today, again, in front of the blackboard, I have here a uh, table. You, uh, all you have to do is to put uh, these images, choose the three images which is the two-dimensional and three-dimensional. This image is equivalent to six images. So you have, you have to do is to select uh, this image from what dimension it is. If it is two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Did you get it? Yes, teacher! Okay. So I will just uh, choose uh, two volunteers to pick uh, this uh, pick three images to put in the table. So how many of you want to volunteer? Okay, so Christine and okay, three back. So uh, what dimension do you want to pick, Christine? That one teacher. Two dimensional.
dimensional or three dimensional? Two dimensional. Okay, good. So just pick what which image is uh, two dimensional. Do you think that uh, Christine is correct? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, very good. Christine is correct. Those are those images are two-dimensional artwork. Now, Prima, put these images on which dimension? Okay, really. Okay, thank you, Kripa. How about uh, Kripa? Did she, uh, did she put the those images correctly? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so Kripa did the correct fill uh, in of those images in the three-dimensional artwork. Great job, both of those Kripa and Christine got the correct uh, presentation or the putting of images in the columns. Okay, class, are you ready for our evaluation today? Yes, teacher! Are you ready? Yes, we are! We are! Okay, very good for today's evaluation class. Um, here I have the uh, pictures and a box. In your paper class, I have here a activity sheet in which you will answer um, in the box of the images of what image does uh, dimension it, it, it represent? If it is uh, two dimensional, just write two D, and if it is a uh, three dimensional, just write three D. Did you get it, class? Yes, teacher. Okay, here is the answer sheet. Okay, class. So I will give you uh, three minutes to answer that activity sheet. Okay. Start. Okay, so for our information today, class, in your uh, paper, write uh, 2D in the box if it is two dimensional. If it is three dimensional, just write 3D. Did you get it, class? Yes, oh, yes, yes. Okay, so here. here we have this uh, answer sheet. Okay, are you all set in class? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So you can now start answering. I will just just give you two minutes. Okay, uh, can you pass all the papers in front? Okay, let's check your papers. Okay, all of you got the perfect score. Very good. Yay. Okay, let's give a five cups in ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, for our assignment today, Using your favorite things that can be found at your home. Using your
your uh, assignment. Did you get it? Yes, teacher. Next meeting. Just pass it in our new next meeting class. Okay, all of you done writing the assignment? Yes, Paul. Yes, Okay, very good. Uh, let us all stand. Goodbye, class. Good.